Hey guys, welcome to a tutorial of how to set up your hot end for the MP Delta Pro. I like to just show you the parts first before we start so you know everything that we need. And that's it, so let's get started. What I like to do in the beginning is to uh, set up my effector and uh, heat sink just so I have that alignment and you see those two uh, grub screws go in those two holes. Uh, after that, we get the fans and make sure they're aligned the right way because the wires do go a specific way. So you just put the screws or bolts, whatever they're called in there. So you have that alignment ready and you put them on. All right, now we just take the hot end assembly and we put it in there basically. Uh, you're gonna see how uh, it goes around pretty loosely just because the grub screws are supposed to be there to hold it in. And you'll also see why it's so important to have that alignment correctly up front because if you don't have those grub screws in the front, you're gonna have a hard time getting to them and making any changes. And this is a good time to make sure that your hot end is aligned correctly with those fans. Just make it squared off and that's what the grub screws are doing, they hold it in there. Also make sure you bend that wire just a little bit so that it goes in better. And at this point we have to put the front uh, fan on. We're going to use those two screws to put it to the metal piece before we put it onto the effector. And at this point we take off the effector bolts so we can put the fan piece on. And then that last piece is pretty much just a PT V2 liner or whatever this one is called. Uh, but I would recommend probably bolting this one down with the ratcheting wrench. And then uh, for these magnets, there is a specific way to put them on. They are also marked to help you with that. Uh, I will post a picture right after this clip. And the Facebook group member posted this, so thanks for that. And for the wiring, it's pretty straightforward. You can't really mess it up because they're all very specific. Also, uh, when you get the PT feed tube, make sure that you measure the distance that it goes to the hot end because I had a, a lot of clogs when I didn't put it in all the way. It feels like you're in all the way to the end, but you're not. So just make sure you measure that and you know how long you have to go in there. Then you'll notice that your wires are all sticking out. So if you would like, you can use the little tube uh, material whatever that was provided by my own price in the beginning 
well after you put everything together you got to test it right so you turn it on basically you go to the main menu you turn on your uh the f hot end temperature to a minimum of 165 because the minimum technically is 160 but it jumps around a little bit so you should put 165 just to keep yourself from messing up then after that you just go and you load the filament and per the manual you just have to cut like a 45 degree angle as you put it in but i have found that if you just straighten out like the front two inches or so of the filament you can just put that in there without any issues as long as you make sure the angle is kind of slightly correct but yeah just straighten out those two inches and you'll be good to go no cutting required then you just load the filament all the way down to the hot end and let it run for a little bit see if everything's good and you should be uh, on your way to printing also don't forget to print that spool spinner it's going to help out a lot with uh, a lot of stuff okay i hope you guys enjoyed it good luck keep on printing bye bye